Hi, welcome to this video where I'm going to take you through my stocks and shares I said that I opened last financial year and because I've got a little bit of money still left on the side, we'll buy something new. So let's wait to later on to see what ETF I'm going to buy. To say that it's been an interesting period over the last four to six weeks is the understatement of the year. So we have seen Meta drop by almost 25% or plummet to its lowest price since 2016. The Bank of England is predicting the longest recession since records even began. And if that wasn't enough, you had the Fed raising rates again uh, in the November call, and that's up another 0.75% with more pain still to come. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mark of Desperately Seeking Fi. And in this channel, we'll explore some strategies and tools that will help us work together towards financial independence. So before we actually crack on and start looking at the actual portfolio, thought it might be useful to have a bit of an idea of what's been going on sort of year to date. You've got the S&P 500 is down almost 17%, whereas you have the FTSE 100 um, ETF on Vanguard is down about one and a half percent year to date. So let's jump over, have a quick look at my Vanguard portfolio. Just for clarity, you are only allowed to open one stocks and shares ISA per financial year. I was lucky enough last year to max out and hit the threshold of £20,000. I'm not going to be that lucky this year. I might manage about four or five if I'm very lucky. Um, but what you will see is up 2%. So based on year to date, how the SP 500 and the FTSE are doing, that actually isn't too bad. I'm reasonably happy with that. You'll also see I do have some cash and we'll use that later on to make a little investment into a new ETF. Overall, 20,000 invested and almost a 2% personal rate of return on that £20,000. Some of that made up from interest, some of that made up from dividends and some from growth. We will jump into the transactions. On the screen is my holding. So as I said, there are the four ETFs that we have and then the life strategy 40%. So that's just a bit of a, a blended fund that we have. Um, but looking at the ETFs all often doing reasonably well with a little bit of growth over the period. And you will see that I've got about £10,000 in held in cash, just holding that on the side at the moment. I'd like to have a quick look at the investments under this detailed view, so you can just toggle that on up here. So life strategy, and actually you will see that that is still slightly down on what I bought in at, but just over six units within the life strategy 40. Across the four different ETFs, that makes up about 45% of this portfolio at the moment, that will change later on. Um, we're looking at KE at about 5%, VHYL, the high dividend yield ETF at about 5%, and then at about 17% each for VWRL and VUSA. And if you will remember, I've done a couple of videos on those and you can see those down in the description below. Just looking into the cash statement, we can see what was going on last month and what has happened this month. So got a little bit of interest on the cash that was in the account on the 1st of October. So I bought into three ETFs last month and I purchased about £250 worth of VWRL, then invested into VUKE and VHYL, about £1,000 into each one of those. You will notice they're not actually the figures that I was trying to buy into, but when you buy ETFs on the Vanguard platform, you only get to buy um, full shares. So that's why they are slightly off what I was trying to buy. And then I obviously had an account fee of £7.62. Also got a few dividends from VWRL and VUSA and then a little bit of interest. I'd like to jump into the Insights tab and just have a look and see where 
I have geographically invested into, and you'll see based from here, my largest uh, wading is into the North Americas, then into the UK, and then a little bit into Europe. My top holdings for investments are Apple, Microsoft. Through the life strategy, I will have some money in the developed world X UK equity index fund, bid into global bonds, and then we're back into Alphabet, Amazon, Johnson Johnson, and then back into the life strategy with some of the FTSE UK All Shares Index. Sectors that I'm invested into at the moment, financials, then healthcare, and consumer discretionary. And then you get just a snapshot of what's been going on over the last uh, few months, and I'm down 0.29%. Given how bad September was, that I would actually take. If you're getting some value, I'd love it if you would hit the like button and consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so that you can get content like this that will help you along your journey towards financial independence. This is another one of the tabs that I love going into because I get to see what has actually been happening each month and shows you how the stock market and your portfolio will ebb and flow over time. This is something you put money into and you just leave it there for the long term because if you just have a quick look over the last, uh, over this financial year, you will see that there have been periods of red and some great periods of great growth, um, but you just see that it keeps going up and down. Um, I'm glad that I am, after what has happened this year, that I am 2% up on this portfolio. I did promise at the beginning of the video that we'd go through a quick investment. What I want to do is invest a little bit more into the emerging market side of things. There is talk that China potentially is going to come out of its zero tolerance COVID lockdown, which might see things start to slightly open up in the emerging market. Brazil is also looking at uh, becoming a, a bit of a superpower. China and India have such large populations. I think there may be a bit of potential for growth in those markets. So I'm going to look at a Vanguard uh, ETF that provides me a bit more exposure into the emerging market. Before we actually purchase, let's have a quick look at some of the fund detail. So I am looking at VFEM and this is the FTSE Emerging Markets ETF. It is showing what the market price is today. It's made up of almost 2,000 stocks with an ongoing charge of 0.22 and a risk rating of six. Uh, reasonable size at almost 2 billion of total assets. And what is good is it's a quarterly dividend payer. And what we can see, the last year, it's taken a pretty big hit. It is down almost 29%. Uh, so looking at buying very much into a uh, third into China, you've then got some exposure into India, Taiwan, etc. Looking at very much a financials technology and consumer discretionary. We will know some of these names. So Taiwan Semiconductors, we've got Alibaba, uh, JD.com. Let's have a look and see how much we're going to get in a dividend if we invest into here. And there we go, it's almost a 4% dividend yield. And I am hoping that we will get a bit of uh, capital growth as well, because it's been hit so hard over the past year. Um, and if we think about it, you've got that Chinese, uh, you know, China's zero uh, COVID policy. Um, so hopefully as that starts to relax, we start to see some more investment and some more growth in the, the Chinese market. So I'm going to go and let's do a quick investment into this. So it was VFEM that we were looking at buying into and let's put 1000 into there. And it will ask me for my 
payment, I'll take that from the cash that I already have on hand. Just check that we've got that all right. VFEM, 1000. I am happy. And there we go. Order is pending. We now just have to wait for that to process through and that should purchase somewhere in the region of a thousand pounds worth of VFEM in the morning. I have also got some other videos which will show you some of the details and why I've invested into the ETFs within this portfolio. So you can either have a look at that video uh, there or you could delve into a bit more detail on VWRL and FUSA and I'll probably even do a quick video that goes into a bit more detail on this Emerging Markets ETF. But thank you very much for sticking with me so far. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Think of subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.